Well, meanwhile, let's turn to one of our other top stories today. A once trusting relationship now under severe strain. Spying on close friends and partners is totally unacceptable. There are times where we want to know a little bit more than the Germans are willing to tell us. German Chancellor Angela Merkel says her country's relationship with the United States must now be rebuilt anew. It follows the latest allegation from NSA leaker Edward Snowden that the agency bugged her cell phone for more than 10 years. And Merkel reportedly was not the only one. Snowden claims the phones of dozens of other world leaders were also targeted. John Northcott is tracking this story for us today. So, John, we have this new report. It involves Angela Merkel. What does it allege? Michael, we'll show you a picture here. This is a picture from happier times. You can see U.S. President Barack Obama greeting German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Now, next to it, the headline, The Sinister Friend. That's the front page of Der Spiegel magazine, the magazine that has come out with these latest revelations that not only her phone, but the phones of some 34 other world leaders and who those other leaders are, we don't know yet. Could Canada's leadership be on there? We don't know, but the way the allegations are coming out, we may know in a few days. This has her very concerned. She has expressed uh, her, her anger at the president. There are a number of top German uh, security people who are on the plane right now to talk to American officials about this. The French are upset about this as well. But the real concern about this is not only was it her personal cell phone, but it was since 2002. Now, she was involved in German politics at that point, but she was not chancellor. It would be three more years before she became German chancellor. This against the background that she was raised in East Germany and very well aware of the history of the Stasi, the secret police that monitored the lives of so many ordinary Germans. Germans. This has her angry as they try and get a concession from the United States that they will not do this ever again. The other aspect to this is that the NSA appears to have gone to other U.S. government agencies, for example, like the White House, like the State Department, like the CIA, to get and access those private numbers to be used in an emergency or for high diplomatic discussions and then track them and then follow them and essentially spy on them. Michael? And it's not just the American allies that are concerned today, John. American citizens are also unhappy with the NSA. What happened here? Yeah, protest in Washington. Some uh, 2,000 people marching, carrying with them a uh, petition for some 600,000 names. Here we are. Yes, we scan. Says it all. Giving the lie to the successful campaign slogan of the president for his first win. Let's listen to some of those people that were there. I'm just outraged, like most people here, at the, you know, the mass surveillance that's going on, and, and people just don't seem to be upset about it. It's blatantly unconstitutional. Here's the problem for the Obama administration. They have lost the confidence of many people at home, and they have lost the confidence of their allies abroad. They have a lot of work to do. Michael? John, thank you for this. Okay.